The next layer in relation to the palm consists of the long flexor tendons. These are four tendons of flexor digitorum superficialis and four tendons of flexor digitorum profundus. Only one has been dissected. This tendon of flexor digitorum superficialis divides into two slips and in between the space between the two slips emerges the tendon of flexor digitorum profundus. The two slips of flexor digitorum superficialis get inserted into the sides of the middle phalanx and the tendon of flexor digitorum profundus gets inserted into the base of the distal phalanx of the four fingers. Arising from the tendons of flexor digitorum profundus are these lumbrical muscles. These lumbrical muscles are the ones which get insert, which get their nerve supply from the ulnar nerve for the third and fourth lumbrical and the median nerve for the first and second lumbricals. The next layer of muscle consists of the adductor pollicis muscle which has two heads, the oblique head and the transverse head of the adductor pollicis lying on this deep palmar arch. The deep palmar arch is formed by the branch of the ulnar artery with the radial artery. Actually radial artery takes bigger share in the formation of the deep palmar arch and in the concavity of the arch runs the deep branch of the ulnar nerve. This deep branch of the ulnar nerve supplies all the three muscles of the hypothenar eminence, medial two lumbricals, adductor uh, pollicis, and all the four palmar and the dorsal interossei muscles. Now, deep to the adductor pollicis muscle are the interossei muscles, the palmar interossei and still deeper are the dorsal interossei muscles. These are all supplied by the deep branch of the ulnar nerve.